Identifying and bringing those sites forward should be a challenge of every borough and every developer. We as a developer are currently doing it ourselves now through all the boroughs and we believe the sites are there. Bring them forward, put them in the hands of credible developers. Look at the small developers. They've gone out of the system and the government is sad and I promoted it for years. You know, after the war, 40% of all houses built in this country was the small builder. Today, it's 12%. Why is he not there? The sheer bureaucracy of it, or well, he can't afford it. It's not his mentality. But he was part of the community, he was trusted. So I think it's, it's quite simple. We need to set a policy, or park the policy, and set a clear objective. 80 sites, right, would do it. 80 sites across the London boroughs. That doesn't sound so frightening at the end of the day. So that's where I come from on the land. The structure, it's already in place. We have the London Development Panel. It's a question of political leadership. It's a question of project management. Again, it's about alignment interests, working in partnership, working with communities. I mean, we as a developer, we never enter anywhere. We don't talk to politicians, we don't talk to members. We talk to the community. We always talk to the community first because that's where it begins, in the community. Get some trust in it. Give people back some respect. You know, let's get houses at prices people can afford. You're right back to the argument again, supply and demand. The demand is there, so until we get the supply up, we will never solve the crisis. So it is a question, I'm afraid, for the politicians of political leadership, right? Manage it, right? Get the land into the hands of genuine developers. It goes right back to this speculation point again. We've got the capacity. We coming out of recession, we're building about 2,800, we're going to 4,000 this year, and we're going to 5,000 next year, and we're pushing for 6,000 a year after. We will lift the production, we will face into the challenges of there not being enough skilled labour. That's our job. We've got to do something to earn our living, right? So training people, bringing skilled labour in, we have always, we did through recession, never sacked our young graduates. They tomorrow, we kept them on, they're part of business. We just announced a scheme to take on 250 young people that are good with their hands. Let's train them, let's get into the school. So that's the challenge for the builders. So to get the, 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 the land into the right hands, the capacity is there. We've got the skills, we can double production. But there's one other challenge that we'd like to lay down. This is not acceptable for local authorities to keep taking commuted sums. It's not addressing the housing challenges. We can't have the two or the four square miles that you and I fight about in a minute. There is four square mile in London, it used to be two square. And the super rich do live there and we just well recognise it. And if we're going to have an international market, they're going to come here and that's fine by me. But commuted sums, I really don't like. We have a number of developments on. We have five large major regenerations on, all north of 3,000 units, most at 5,000. They have affordable housing on those sites. We've learned to manage it. It's important. Respect again. The word I use a lot go and talk to people, make people happy, make them have a reason for getting up in the day. So, you know, we have 40% on our big site up in uh, Hackney, 40%. We have 40%, I see David Luntz is in the, in the audience, and he and I negotiate. It's actually 41% to be precise, David. I don't know if you got one out of me, but you did. So we got another site down in Greenwich, right? Again, that's got 35% on it. Ealing, 30%. We manage it, and we've learned to put the social side and the private side of life together. It works. So let's stop the local authorities taking the community sums, and if they do take it, They've got to spend it, and they've got to spend it on housing. 